fruit in and then I I uh, dip it I pour the whole pot of water and then and then I put some uh, salt on it so just to clean up any bugs anything that will float around the top okay so um, then you can rinse out okay. I also dip everything in there and but the leaf is look like plastic so you can just wash it you know. it won't break you know. unless you want to wash one by one I used to wash one by one but it takes so long so now I just make sure I choose the leaf is nice nice one doesn't really have anything so you can just uh, wash it To wash the leaf thoroughly sometimes they you know unless you check it sometimes they have um, spider or anything okay or bug or anything okay but I do I do uh, put it in the water in the um, the salt water so it should be okay mm -hmm. A lot of time, um, I read it in Chinese medicine. They even use their stem. Okay, peel out the stem, they ground it. They use it for Chinese medicine. So the whole tree, they call it like God tree, you know, it's a, um, they call, call uh, in Chinese, they call Sun Xian Su. It is like a God tree, so it, you know, um, it helps, it helps a human body in many ways. And from, uh, you know, the whole tree, tree trunk, um, leaf, fruit, and they are, they have this called, um, Sang Huang. Sang Huang is mean, uh, the yet, uh, the, um, what is that called? The fungus. The fungus who grow in the this tree. Um, it says it's, it's very good to um, to help for the cancer uh, patients. So right now it is in need on it, uh, but it is very difficult to, to find the real one because it takes you know. Uh, sometimes they grow in the wild. It takes a. Uh, Three years, they only it, they only grow less than ten centi centimeters. So it is very pricey. If you can find one, okay, because those are those are better than uh, ginseng, okay. So this that's what they say. So right now, I'm using this leaf. Later, uh, you just chop it out. It is nice and clean. You chop it out so you can get the extract from the leaf, and then you boil the water. Okay, then you can keep the water, uh, uh, put a couple of tea bags on it, then can make tea on it, okay. So now you're gonna do the, this thing, okay. So the, the, the back one you just throw it. So that's basically, uh, okay. so you just... Okay, and normally I like to make sure I get a small portion of it so I can see any bad one or good one. So after you rinse it, you see like pretty much it's good. Then you can, uh, it takes a little bit longer, but then I can pour it the better good one. Then you can take some and you pick up the one, the one like tiny one like this useless. Okay, and um, I have to get a close up. Okay. Right, 
something like sometimes they have the dirt from the fruit, the the tree like this tiny one okay so you just pick it up so it's you see it's just clean now I also don't want to eat beetle in there, okay? Just like the other day, I saw those beetles that poke in there, doesn't even move. Okay. So, that's pretty clean, you see that? You see the color? It's already turned purple. So that's how it goes. If you get into your clothes, it will be stained or closed. Okay, so this is a tiny one. You don't want that. This is so tiny, I don't want it. So we already pick up all the unwanted. Uh, if you don't want it, you just, when you touch it, it just come fall apart. Okay. So if there's a bug in there, they will slow out, fall up, at least you don't see it, okay? It's a good news, I don't see anything. Okay. So you see that the color is so purple. Uh -huh. If you can put it in the water, After two hours, you see, soft. Now you see the color. Let's see. It's a greenish color. See that? <coughs> so now it's done. You can turn off the other uh, fire. Okay, turn off the oven. Then you can remove the leaf. 
Okay, you can add a couple of tea bags on it. So now you remove the leaf. Okay? After you leave, remove the leaf, you can add uh, some tea bag, any, any kind, like this, or green tea or anything. Okay? So I normally okay, you just add a couple of it down there and let it cool down. Then you can drink it later. If you want to add honey, you can add it too, but I usually drink it without it. So after you boil, let it dry, and then you uh, you drink, you take out the leaf. Okay, you pour the water, the tea water in there okay then you keep the leaf the leaf you can use uh, for the cooking and then you can put in the water bottle okay so you just strain out the leaf to so get the, the tea of it. okay so you can use all of this <laughs> 